So catnip is an herb from the mint family. It has a compound called nepotalactone that binds to receptors in the cat's nose and when that is sensed by the brain, it can actually stimulate playful behavior such as zooming and playing. People are very familiar with the kitty zoomies, so usually we'll see them sniffing, they'll even bud their heads on it, they'll roll, they'll just act a little bit hyperactive, or just completely relaxed. But it doesn't create that typical high we know in humans. Best 15 minutes of my life ever. Catnip is generally safe for most cats. However, if your kitty has allergies or other sensitivities, then I would expose them to it gradually and monitor for a response. However, if they do have too much, it can cause some gastrointestinal or GI upset. So moderation is key. Catnip is not addictive in the traditional sense. They enjoy it when it's available, but they don't create a dependency on it. Catnip can be given once or twice a week just to keep it exciting for them without overdoing it. She's lying. Daily is the real recommendation. Only about 70% of cats respond to catnip. The other 30% just don't inherit the gene, so it's completely genetic. We found that kittens under three months usually have a decreased sensation to the catnip, but usually our middle-aged adult kittens are the most susceptible. There are alternatives such as silver vine or a valerian root that can have similar effects for those kitties that just don't respond to the catnip. Silver vine? That sounds sketchy. Catnip can be used in many ways, so you can redirect unwanted behavior such as your kitty scratching on expensive furniture. Well, maybe you can use a catnip to put on the scratching post or other toys to redirect their attention. It can also help in times of stress such as remodeling the home or any other changes at home, as well as stimulate more physical activity in kitties that just are a little more laid back. No, you cannot smoke catnip. So catnip is actually a natural mosquito repellent, so maybe you should think about adding that to your bag on your next camping trip. And always remember, cat crack has always been legal. Check out the Cat Crack Chronicles, The Legend of Bumpy.